Yo, what's going on, Ruby Squad? It's your boy Ruby Dragonoid here, and guys, today we have another epic Bakugan video for you. So, thankfully, with the holidays coming up, I know Christmas is coming up uh, and everything, uh, stores are having a whole bunch of sales. So, Target had a couple sales, I think Walmart had a couple sales with stuff, and actually, one of the sales that they had during Black Friday was they had uh, the Bakugan sets. Uh, you could get them for, I believe, like $15. I got very, very lucky, guys, because I was able to pick up this set right here. This is the Aqua Swimmer and Aurelis Serdoran Geogon Brawler Pack. And this comes with some awesome Bakugan that I have not even seen in stores yet. And I'm just very lucky to have this. So, this is the Aqua Swimmer and Aurelis Serdoran uh, brawler pack and it comes with an Arliss Ninjaton, a Darkest Jetra, and a Chaos Krakenoid. We'll take a quick look at the back of the box here to show you guys what those Bakugan look like. And funny thing, actually, let me point this out the front of the box here. This obviously is not Sodoran. This is Ninjaton. Um, Sodoran looks like a really big spiky guy, but I don't understand why they have him there. I guess because he's oralist, but whatever. Take a look at the back of the box. We do see pictures of the Bakugan we get in this set. We do, of course, get three character cards, of course, for each of the three Bakugan we get. Seven um, uh, Baku ability cards, and then we get the three gate cards and six Baku cards. So without further ado, guys, let's get this thing open and just see how awesome the Bakugan look. Alright guys, so here is everything out of the packaging, and I just gotta say, these are some cool looking Bakugan, and I cannot wait to get them opened up. So, first off, we're going to just move the Bakugan to the side over here. We're always going to go ahead and check the cardboard portions of these boxes first. We're going to take a quick look at the gay cards here. We got one featuring Pyravian. Another one looks like featuring Arliss Hydrus. Interesting, interesting. And then... Last one featuring Aquas Centipod. Looking really cool there. That blue lightning coming out of, out of his mouth. <clears throat> and then we have the cores, of course. We have a whole bunch of different ones. We have a Green Fist, which is the strongest one here is 150 plus 2. Which I'm not getting two of them. Have the plus 600B Magic Shield. Plus 400 Aquas Pyrus. Regular shield. A minus 500 magic shield. Eh, that's all right. Uh, the second best helix, which is plus 500B minus one. And another uh, minus 500B power magic shield, which eh, isn't too great. So all in all, it's, um, mediocre cores at best, I'd say. Probably the best one is the 600 magic shield. Um, ain't the 651, but still, that's not bad for one of these packs. The plus 400B to Aquas and Pyrus. You know, they're really the only Aquas Bakugan we get. In this is Swarmer, and it's a Geogon. And then probably the Helix and the Green Fist, of course, is the strongest Green Fist you can get. So it ain't the greatest bunch, but it is still okay nonetheless. Let's go ahead and take a look at our cards here. The first card we have here is Aqua Swarmer with a 2 energy cost, 600B, and 9 damage, and the reroll ability. Looking really, really cool there. A water beetle bug. Looking cool. Love it. Arliss Serdoran, a 3 cost, 800B, 500 damage, and on Victor, you can draw 3 cards. Wow. That's not bad if you can get him up pretty high. Next up, we have Chaos Krakenoid. Looks really, really awesome. I can't wait to get the Aquas version of this guy. Uh, hopefully, I can find him in a single pack soon. He does come with the Helix and Green Fist, 400B and 6 damage, and on a Helix, he gets plus 300B. So, altogether, he can go up to about 1,303, which isn't too bad on the highest Helix core. Darkest Jetra. So, for those of you who do not know, this is Jet Kuso's Bakugan as he won the second Invitational. This was the, this was the Bakugan that they said, hey, we're going to create this guy for you. Looking really cool. Hopefully, I can go to the Invitational ones uh, if they have one this year. Um, if not, maybe next year. Um, you know, we are... Bakugan Masters, and I cannot wait to hopefully be able to do that and meet everybody. So yeah, we have the Magic Shield and Shield with this guy, 400B and 6, so highest he can go to is 1050. And he has a reroll ability, which I always love reroll abilities. And the new guy we got here is Ninjaton. Arlo's Ninjaton, double Magic Shield, which is great. He does uh, get 606, so he can go up to 1250, which is not bad at all. 
looking really cool. No ability, unfortunately, though. Maybe he'll get an epic character card here soon. For the ability cards, we have a one-cost Echo Search, which is which allows you to scan, draw one, and scan again. So it looks like you go in that order, I believe. So you would scan, draw, scan, pretty much. Five-cost Leg Lance Attack with Krakenoid there. Looking really, really cool. Adds 1,400 B power to your Bakugan. That is strong. And actually, five-cost isn't really that bad either for that. Interesting. Shadow Slicer is a two-cost with 400 B and Scan. Torch Horns, a six-cost. Add 1,000 B power and Double Strike, which is really, really nice. So you get that Bakugan up there. It does double damage. Really, really awesome. And the best one ever, Glorious Charge. 5 cost, 900 B, and 9 damage, which is really nice. Not bad for a 5 cost, and that 9 damage can really boost that power. But just the name, Glorious Charge, I mean, it just sounds awesome to me. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the Bakugan that we got with this set, guys. So, take a quick look at their ball forms before we take them out individually. We do have Krakenoid here looking really cool. I would love to see a Ventus guy of, of this one because he kind of looks like a watermelon. I don't know. He just looks like a watermelon to me. So, yep, yeah, looking really cool. You can tell these are all his tentacles. And I do like the way he looks, especially um, when we get him opened up. You will see how really cool. He looks really, really like he does in the anime. It's really, really interesting to see it. And, of course, we have Jetra right here in Beautiful Darkest. Cannot wait to get the Pyrus one of him. Actually, I'm going to get a couple of them. Because if I ever meet Jet Kuso, I would like to have one signed by him. Of course, you know, I do have stuff signed by my my good friend Kimbo. I had to have him sign stuff, of course. Then we have Arliss Ninjaton here. I still love that um, metallic gold that they use in the Arliss Bakugan. And the metallic silver that they use. Just because it adds more pop than just having this kind of... Uh, like, um, mustard yellow kind of color. See, that's Arliss Ninjaton. Next, we have a second Arliss Geogon. This is Arliss Serdoran. Kind of comes in like a, uh, kind of like a, a barrel shape. Kind of. Looking really, really awesome. And then we have Swarmer here, which is one of the brand new ones that I have not seen yet in stores. I actually haven't seen the Venice one. I know people haven't been finding him. I just haven't had a chance to really look around and find him. But yeah, he looks really, really awesome. He's kind of like a, this one I would consider like a water beetle, but he's like a nice, big, big beetle um, in Venice form, which really looks awesome. The odd thing I want to say about him is that his bee power is on the outside instead of being like on the inside of this. So I don't know if that's just a misprint. Or if, you know, maybe that's how it's supposed to be. I really don't know. But yeah, you can see his horns right there, the razor blade with the razor sharp horns right there. Almost like teeth. Really cool looking. I actually love this uh, this shape. It really looks really cool. Um, back in the day, there was this game called, there was this uh, anime called Metabots. And then they had these toys that came with like these dice that were kind of like this. It was really cool just to, like, roll them and everything. But, yeah. Let's go, let's go ahead and get these guys open. Just see how awesome they look. All right, guys. So, here we have everybody opened up. And they look really, really awesome. I'm really, really... Uh happy with the detail that they put into the these this wave of Bakugan and even the Geogon look really really awesome so quickly we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Geogon here real quick so we do have Arliss Serdoran here looking really really awesome he does have these little feet that can pop out to the side even back ones back here that will pop out if I can get my nails in there to get it out there we go because you have those four little legs that he will stand on in the show and if you see them on cards and stuff like that, that is what it looks like. His little legs right here. So we'll pop them out there to give him a little bit more balance. Looking really cool. For what they do to have these shapes and everything, this looks amazing, I gotta say. This is why I love the traps back in the day, because they just thought they were so, so cool and unique and everything. 
Next, we have Swarmer here, which I am actually very happy that we I got this guy because he looks so, so cool. I like beetles and everything. I think they look really awesome. And he has this little tail back here that he does flip out. I believe this is for one of the legs of Ultimate Villock, which I believe I have all the parts now. I might just do a video on that with all of my spare Geogons that do not have the actual set yet. But, nonetheless, I will be getting that set soon. Really, really awesome looking. I love the wig span they have on him. It's really, really big. Really cool face there with the little uh, tendrils or, pin or pincers there. Looking really cool. Let's go ahead and move these guys out of the way. And take a look at the main cast of Bakugan that we get with this. So, let's go ahead and take a look at Jetra here. Because this is Jetra's Bakugan. It's like a jellyfish, kind of cyclopsy Bakugan. It looks so cool. And I love that they have this little like wing kind of design. Reminds me of Monoris a little bit with the, how they have that design and everything. I love that they add like the nice light gray in there as well with that green. Just it just it adds so much more character to the Bakugan, I say, when they add these new colors and everything. Looks really, really cool. Really, really, really simple to fold up too. All you do is you just fold that up and then you fold these in just like that. And there you go. You have Jetra. And he'll just pop open when you throw him on the table. <laughs> All right, next we have Ninjaton, and I gotta say, this guy is very, very unique. Um, I really like his design. I really, really do. It's really, really awesome looking, and very, uh, like, it looks complex, but it's very simple. And I just gotta say that if you want a Bakugan that almost kind of reminds me of Cycloid, not the reboot version, but the older version, it's this guy right here. This guy reminds me of Cycloid with the big fists and then the single eye in the in his, um, center of his face and everything. Just reminds me of Cycloid a little bit more than, well, than this. <laughs> I just happen to have Darkest Cycloid here. But yeah, definitely, this reminds me more of a Cycloid toy than this one does. But nonetheless, I can't complain. Love it. Looks really cool, and I hope they bring him out in Pyrus. I know he's a dark, I know he's, I think his main faction is Darkest, but... Hope they bring him out in Pyrus too. This is where I say they did a good job on a squid Bakugan. Um, Krakelios was really, really cool, but very, very complex to close. This guy is a lot easier to close. And I just want to say that they did a really good job with that face detail sculpt right there. If we can get a nice, good close-up of that. Looks very good, and it looks just like it does in the anime, which is, again, I really like Bakugan that look just like they do in the anime. So this is really cool to see. Add that nice light gray, um, a little bit more of a darker gray than they have on Jetra, but it is a light gray nonetheless, looking really cool there. And in contrast to the Chaos White and the and the um, Aqua colors here, and the blue and the turquoise there, looks really cool. And he also kind of opens up like Freezer did. If you guys don't know who Freezer is, I think I do have him somewhere. I can probably do a OG review uh, episode of him when I get the chance to. But yeah, there is Krakenoid. So yeah, guys, that is going to do it for the Aquas Swarmer and Arliss Serteran Geogon Brawler set. There we go. That looks like a better picture than what I had before. Kind of, They were just kind of like all clustered together. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like down below. Also, guys, leave a comment telling me which bot gun you like from this set and have you have, have you actually gotten this set yet and have you gotten any good deals with Black Friday happening. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, I already said all that, <laughs> that spiel. Don't forget to hit that beautiful, beautiful Power Red subscribe button because it means the world to me and it means you guys are joining one of the most epic squads in the entire Bakugan community, the Ruby Squad. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good night.